Oh, of course we feel good. We're in Melton. Oh. At the trots. At the trots. <laughs> Without any trots happening, but we're at the trots. <laughs> and I'll tell you what is happening, by what? the way. We've we got a superstar cast. Who we got? Well, Dan Malecki later on. Yes. Uh, the golden voice of this caper. Yep. Uh, Zach Butters. Zach Butters. From around here. Yeah. All Australian best and fairest Port Adelaide a star of the competition. Mark Hunter a star. Yes. The young bloke's a star as well. He is. And lucky. very soon, speaking of stars, mm. we get we get to spend some time oh, no. with one of my all time favourites. Oh. The dancer Dougie Hawkins. Oh. Have a look at him, the oh. hawk. <laughs> He's ready to go to that superstar over there. He's been here since twelve, having a couple of frothies. Happy <laughs> as a man can be. Oh, hello to you, Fat. Oh, good day, Jim. Great to be here at the uh, Melton Entertainment Park, we're calling it. Yes. Beautiful, isn't it? Nice little mantra hotel there. We might mm. stay there tonight. Right. Have a few beers with the locals. Just having a look around, Jim. Probably won't. Anyway, <laughs> um, but this is the Gamma Light Room. Yes. Gamma Light, one of the great uh, trotters of all time. Won 94 races. Wow, we. I know. So great to be here. We've got the TVs. We've got the tab here. <laughs> We've got trackside. We've got Kino. Smoke oh, machine. Smoke machine. Yeah, what it. more do you want, Jimmy boy? Oh, it's fantastic. Well, we want a couple of our staff members to be a bit more up and about. Oh, we'll talk about them later. Uh, we had drinks <laughs> last night. And, and they got away from a couple of them. They did. And g'day to you, Ryan. And they are off. <laughs> and your guess is as good as mine what's happening. <laughs> Uh, she's steaming on. Imagine it's to be going forward trying to lead like it did last time. But as you can see, I'm watching what you are on the TV screen and we cannot see anything here at the moment. That's old Rick McIntosh having a little bit of an issue in Kilmore. McIntosh. The fog, was it? Yes, it was. Oh, I thought you might have pulled your man out that lost his voice. Remember him coming around the bend? Yeah. And, no, then, and couldn't complete the call. No, I don't remember. I remember yeah. Jim Jakes with the beef schnitzel. Yeah, that... Anyway, time now. You ready? <laughs> Public bar, you ready for now the rap, rap, rap? Triple M's Rush Hour. Are we doing... Um, yes, do we, we still are. do the whap, whap, whap? It's Billy's <laughs> All Sports Report. Oh, what do you got for us, Fat? Jim, I hear you ask me, what's going on with Clayton Oliver? What's going on with Clayton Oliver? Very good question, Jim. Well, he uh, has been released from a Melbourne hospital. He had uh, undergone x-rays and a CT scan, Ooh, a CAT right. stan a scan. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. I, I know thought, what a CT scan is. I thought the Geelong players only had oh, my CAT God. scans. Oh, anyway, about wow. that. Tom Morris reported <laughs> all of them. Hands in the heads. Everyone's going, that can't be it. That can't be it. Just a small goal coming. No, <laughs> oh, yeah. it was, uh, Oliver was admitted to the Footscray Hospital around 9am for a number of hours before being discharged early this morning or this afternoon. Oh, we Jim. hope he's okay. He's okay. He's a good boy. Family and friends are saying he's okay, so he'll go and live with Maxie Gordon, his wife. Good. And he'll have a good year. A Ronald it's... Dale Brassie yes. will be given a final farewell at the MCG November 10. November State 10. funeral. Exactly. Family, friends. Richly deserved. Supporters are all invited, are invited there. So look forward to that. Yep. Marcus Stoinis. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's going to play for the Aussies. They need him, I think, oh, in the World thought. Cup. Because he's going to replace Cam Green. What's going on with Cam Green? You're not, the cricketer. Not a lot. No, he <laughs> needs to lift. Needs to lift his output. He does. He's been struggling, Jimmy yeah. boy. Uh, also, the Socceroos will face England for the first time in a friendly. No. When did we beat the? So uh, when did we beat England? Two thousand and three. So it's probably not the first time we've played them. Then, Bill. Exactly. No. And then they play New Zealand in a friendly, Jim. Yes. Traditional home ground of uh, G Tech Community Stadium in Brentford. Where's Brentford? I don't know, UK London. somewhere. Oh, they're London. <laughs> Playing right. New Zealand over there. Yes. So they get the sheep off the ground. And oh, then my around. God. Not in London. <laughs> yeah, no uh, Sam Kerr has been added to the Matilda squad. That's good for the Olympic qualifiers. Yes. We need Sammy Kerr, of course. Yes. They take on Iran, uh, October 26, October 29, the Philippines, and then November, November 1, Taiwan. Mm. So that's good, Jimmy boy. Uh, yep. <laughs> what about this? How's that good? Well, but yep. uh, Sammy Kerr's there. Yep. Eddie Jones is expected to quit oh, no. the Wallabies. He's only just taken the job on. I know. And they reckon he's going to uh, coach Japan. Oh, wow. Well. Which I think he might have had a meeting with yeah, before. already World decided on that before we started. So uh, that's Eddie, and that's my wrap. It's oh, only no. a short one. Is that it? Well, we've got to make room for the one and only, the greatest dog of all time. Oh, is he? Ooh. Yes. Well, we're going to ask him that. Well, he reckons he's better than Bont. Ooh. Actually, a lot of Western uh, Bulldogs fans here... Go, how many doggies? Yeah, oh, look at them. We'll We're in the heartland. We are in the heartland. So there's the Bont, EJ, or Dougie. We'll find out next. Chris Grant? Uh, fifth. <laughs> <laughs>
The great Doug Hawkins joining us next. JB and Bill, Triple M's Rush Hour live from Melton Entertainment Park. For Triple M Rush Hours, Mad Month, live from the Melton Entertainment Park, James Brayshaw, Billy Brownless, and the 350-game legend, Doug Hawkins, has joined us. Oh, we got him. Oh, here he is, Jimmy The Bobby. dancer. Oh, popular out here. 329 games for Footscray, 21 at Fitzroy, went for the money. Uh, also... <laughs> Footy show legend, yes. father of the year, Jim, believe oh, no. it or not. Yes. Uh, Olympic torchbearer, Bulldogs team of the century, and the greatest dog ever. Is, is, is that right, Doug? Well, Billy, lovely to be on board. And yes. uh, you forgot that I actually sat to be a politician at one stage. That's right. Yeah. Two of you got that in common. Yeah. <laughs> that blew up. <laughs> Uh, no, I was with the great Clive Palmer. <laughs> the oh my God. <laughs> what about when they, he rang you and you thought it was someone... I, I thought it was my great mate, Russell Gilbert. <laughs> yep. So I asked him, was he uh, related to Scotty Palmer? And he said, no. And I said, are you the cousin of Chicken? <laughs> Chicken Palmer, and he hung up on me. So I, I thought, I stuck it up Gilbo. <laughs> I said, you're the little beauty. So, uh, no, but Billy, no, um, no, it's good to be here. Bouncing, JB. Hey, last, last time we saw you, you'd been struck by lightning. <laughs> I was a bit worried about you. Next minute, you're on the Nine News, and you're only supposed to have seven second little break there. Yeah. You know, nice little sound bite. Mm. Sound bite. Dougie's started telling a couple of sporties. Yeah. <laughs> it, went, it went for two minutes. <laughs> well, where we come from, Bill, you know, Braybrook. Yes. Um, yes. You know, you, you can take the boy to Braybrook, can't take the Braybrook out of the boy. And, no, Bill, I'll never forget it, JB. I got hit by this lightning. Probably about three, four months ago, I was working down in Yarraville. Uh, you know much about Yarraville, you no, guys? No, I don't. Yeah, Just there. beyond the cemetery there in Geelong Road. Right. I didn't have far to go. To be <laughs> 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 there he goes. <laughs> well, I love it. There you go, about 100 metres, and I was there. <laughs> and you're in a shed. I was in my little shed, and... Uh, the lightning and the thunder was just, it was actually, um, it was scary. It was really scary. And, uh, and the, the bang when the, when the lightning hit the box through the window, and you guys don't know this, but it actually knocked me out. Oh, right. how long? Uh, I, I just blacked out. And, and have you ever had an out-of-body experience? No. Oh, I, I no, I haven't had no, one, no. <laughs> no. So, so when I was blacked out, yeah. I saw my body floating. Really? Oh, you did. <laughs> 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 oh. I was floating up to the pearly gates. Right. Oh, Where? You, weren't, you, you'd be, you wouldn't be floating. You'd be going the other way. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was, <laughs> I was floating up to the pearly gates. Yeah, you and JB, yes. when I got there... What happened when you got when there? When I got there, oh, the yeah. great man was waiting for me. Yes. Teddy Whitten. Oh, was he? Now, not, EJ was... Said, not God. It was, EJ. <laughs> God. Well, EJ. it was God, EJ. Or Peter. He said, there you go, knackers. I said, he always called me knacker. There you go, knackers. He said, what happened to you? So I said, listen, Teddy, as I was about to explain, yeah. the great Lou Richards, the late great... He <laughs> turned up. He put his head over the fence. <laughs> he said, EJ, send him back. <laughs> send Dougie back. <laughs> we can't shoot him. We <laughs> can't... <laughs> <laughs> and we can't oh, let we shoot him. Send him back. <laughs> so, so I actually went back down to my body. And right. I come back in, into my body... And I'm here uh, uh, that's today a miracle. to tell a story, JB. That's a miracle, Doug. No, that's, and that, that is a true story. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dougie. No, that is a load of mamua. <laughs> oh, it is bullshit. It is a load of mamua. Yeah. I love, uh, you've told it many times, but I love you talking about your first ever game because you grew up a Mad North fan. Yeah. And then you debuted yeah, yeah. against North Melbourne and you started on Malcolm Blight or Keith Gregg? Well, I started on a bloke called Ross Henshaw. Yeah, he's a good player. He was a back pocket player. Yep. He was about 6'2". Yep, he was. And playing on the Rovers. Yep. And I was roving with EJ Whitten Jr. Yeah. Anyway, and I'm a, Ken, and I'm a Keith Gregg yep. junkie. Loved I'm him. a mad Keith Gregg junkie. So the middle of the second quarter, I get the call from Ronnie Simmons, the great runner who's been there for 20 years, and he, he said, Hawk, go to the wing. Oh, to yeah. Keith Gregg. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. I said, how good is this? <laughs> so did you have a little trouser chubby? Well, <laughs> oh, I reckon you did, Hawk. <laughs> it would be little. I was, pretty, <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty excited about playing. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, and, and, and he would have saw on the Friday that Dougie Hawkins barracks the north yep. and Keith Gregg, he's my hero. And I got there and I put my hand out. I'll never forget it. I said, there you go, and Keith. And he said, what do you call me, son? <laughs> I said, g'day, Keith. He said, son, you call me Mr. Greg. Yeah, we are. I said, hello, Mr. Greg. <laughs> so anyway, JB, just to finish mm, on that, no, that, 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 that sort of part of it, 
The next week I stayed in the seniors. We played St Kilda uh, down at Moorabbin. You know oh, this one, Billy. Yeah. And, we, and, you know, they, they'd water the ground every Thursday night. Yeah, and yeah. I'm out in the ground and I thought to myself, you know what, you've got to show respect to the opposition. I've learned from Keith Gregg. Mm -hmm. So I put my hand out to shake hands. I said, hello, Mr Muir. How are you today? <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Muir said, what do you call me? <laughs> he, said, he said, I'm mad, dog, Dan. I'm going to kick the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> and he did. And he oh, did. Of course, you got a statue at the Braybrook yep. Hotel. And what about the time when you went home? Here oh, we go, oh, no, Billy. And they, Mum was doing uh, some renovations. Well, Billy, anyone here from Braybrook? Yeah. Yeah, got Have one. you ever heard of Braybrook? <laughs> yes. You want to go to Braybrook? <laughs> because what not's yours can become yours pretty quick. But anyway, oh, there, there we go. Rolling but, nicely. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> wait, wait for this one, yeah, Jesse. <laughs> you wait for the invoice shortly. But anyway, <laughs> No, no, I got home, Billy. I, uh, JB, I got home. Ravi, Ravi, yep. Yep. Ravi, yep. Yes, <laughs> Ravi, did I? Ravi. <laughs> yes. Anyway, anyway, I got, got home. home. I got home, and me, me <laughs> <laughs> late mum Thal was taking the wallpaper off the wall. Yes, JB, and I said, yes. Mum, we're doing some renovations. She said, No, Dougie, we're moving. Oh. So, oh. so when you left Braybrook, the no. wallpaper come with you. Oh. So, oh. <laughs> Oh. That is a true. Now you were a superstar. You had I was. Your, I was a superstar. You had your own wing. Yeah, I mm -hmm. did. So it's yep. trade week. How much would you be getting paid now if you played today? Well, Billy, I tell you what I'd do. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a pretty high opinion about my ability as a oh, footy player. Very high. And so you bloody should have. Yeah, and I've, I've always rated myself very highly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to put this to JB, yes. who's uh, involved in the yeah. AFL system for uh, yeah. doing the commentary and all that sort of yeah. stuff. What would I be worth, JB, on the market these days? Easily over a million. In oh. your prime, 1.2. No. Well, in his prime in the top two or three players in the comp. I was going to say 1.8. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 I was being honest. But... <laughs> But seriously, some of the money, the money oh, tree, you know. Unbelievable now. What did you get? What was your highest paid? I reckon Billy after the 85 final series yeah. when we got skittled by Hawthorne by 10 points in the prelim, yeah. uh, I came out of contract. B Hardy won the Brownlow. Mm -hmm. I won my one and only BNF. And my contract was 85000 and they gave me an RX-7. Oh, <laughs> nice. The Mazda RX-7 from Wherry Mazda. Yeah. And that was probably worth... Mm. That's all right. Eight That's grand, all right. Eight or ten grand. 85 grand in 1985 yeah, is good so, wedge. Yeah, so, so uh, from there, I'll probably go somewhere. And don't forget, we get taxed half. <laughs> we only yeah. take it on 50 grand or 40 <laughs> grand or something like that. You had a panel van there for a while. I did, Bill. I had a Sandman panel van there for all around Braybrook. And on the back of this van's rocking, don't bother knocking, baby, because oh, your daughter might be in the back. But anyway, oh, 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 now, you still on air, Bill? No, 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 we just got taken off. Uh, Bonton Pelly, right? He yep, just won his yep. fifth best and fairest. That sounds Sorry. right. Yep. Is he the best dog ever, in your opinion, Doug Hawkins? Uh, uh, Hurry up, well, all right. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just reflecting and thinking uh, of mm. our greats, and uh, and the first one's obviously Ted Whitten. Yes. You know, and, I, and a lot of people would have seen Ted yes, in this room yes. play, and some may not have. And arguably, you know, Mr. Football, the, the greatest, yep. uh, not only Bulldog, but greatest yep. probably player to play the game to some degree. Some people think. Mm -hmm. He won five best and fairest. We never win a Brown like EJ. Right. Uh, Bottom Pelly was actually robbed. Yeah, yeah, I think he, yeah. he, he was robbed this year. He was robbed this year. This year he was robbed. Mm. Oh, OK. Uh, it, it, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Are you uh, Bulldogs people agree with that? Yeah, yeah, he was actually yeah. robbed. The other bloke that won, it was been a track trivia player, boy, but not his fault, Neil. Neil Those right. umpires can't give votes anymore, well, but anyway. Can't give votes. No, that was what he said. So who is it, Doug? Number one. Let me tell you this. No, 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 I played with Calvin Templeton. You blokes yes, may yes, remember yeah, Calvin Templeton. Did. For four or five years, he was unbeatable one-on-one, -on -one, and that's just something special. Yeah. Uh, Chris Grant, uh, for four or five years, was unbeatable one-on-one. -on -one. Scott West uh, uh, won, uh, won seven best seven. and fairest. Yep. Between me and Scotty, yeah. war number seven, 
and roaring log, we won eight best and fairest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, and what you were... <laughs> Rory's what, what? won none, Rory. Oh. But anyway, <laughs> Westy's won seven, I won one. So just going back to the and answer. The question. <laughs> the, the question is, EJ Witten could play anywhere. Yeah, right. Templeton was more of a full forward scenario forward. Yeah. Chris Grant could play anywhere. Bont. Uh, the Bont could play anywhere that he wants to play. The Bont is a modern-day Ted Witten. Yeah, well, yeah, that that's high praise. No, but uh, the question was... Is he better than Ted? He's not the best. Not yet. So, EJ number one. EJ number one. Yep. Hawkins number two. Oh, that's good. it. You weren't thrown well, in there. Anyone going to dispute that? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. And what he was was either side of the body hawk. Yeah, I am. And before his time, not many did that back yeah. then. Beautiful no, left right. and right. Balance. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you're a bloody star. <laughs> no, so, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm only joking about me. Oh, but, no, you're not. But he is, <laughs> he is the modern day um, Teddy Whitten. There's no doubt about that. Hey, Hawk. <laughs> what a pleasure it is to see you, mate. Thanks for dropping words. by. Am I going, John? <laughs> yeah, mate, that's it. That's it. You've gone 10 minutes. Doug Hawkins, everybody. Doug Hawkins, the superstar. Am I actually going? <laughs> So speaking of all about Melton, we've yeah. got as good a footballer as exists in the comp at the moment, and a local boy too, Zach Butters, everybody, yeah. is here. Yeah. Go through what he's won this Mate. year. All-Australian AFL Coaches Association Player of the Year, and they say that is the most sought after. Yeah. Most courageous player, Port Adelaide BNF, the great John Cale medal, and the triple MVP winner. Zach, as I say hello to you, that is taking the piss. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, boys. It's good to be back in the local area and um, I love jumping on with you boys so I'm looking forward to it. You do love getting back here, that's what I like about you, you're a country boy at heart aren't you? Yeah I guess it's a bit topical with Bax Marsh's class as country, um, a few of the boys like Ollie Wines who's genuine from Echuca, yeah. he, he sort of gets into me about that but um, I'll roll with it. You, and you brought your sister along today, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Renee? Yeah, Billy's been hitting on my mum for the last <laughs> 10 minutes so. Um, you yeah. took her to the Brownlow? <laughs> Yeah, I did take mum to the brown She She looked amazing. We had, a, we had a good night she together, did. so that was yeah. fun. <laughs> Bloody oath she did. Hey, uh, flat finish. Mm. You, you were going so well, Port Adelaide, and we all expected you to end up in a prelim and, and beyond. So the boys must have been pretty flat at the end of it all. Yeah, definitely flat. Um, yeah, you don't want to go out in straight exits. and It's, it's a long season, so you sort of want to get um, something out of it um, when you get to yeah, the pointy sure. end. And Unfortunately, we weren't able to do that. But, um, yeah, three or four weeks later... It, it's a pretty quick turnaround. You sort of start getting more ambitious and what you can get to next and what you've got to do. You can be lucky and unlucky in, in the draw. Uh, having to go to Brisbane's always tough. They never lose at the Gabba. But then you met GWS, who none of us realised were going as well as they were. Yeah, I think there's always one or two teams in the finals that sort of get a bit of a roll and get red-hot footy. And I think, yeah, GWS and Carlton were probably them two teams. Yeah. They were up and firing. And um, I think they're good enough to do it. And they probably showed yeah. that in the finals. So you went to the grand final this year, had some lunches, which is nice, Zachy boy. Then you couldn't watch the game. You just wanted to go back to Dali. Is that right? Yeah, I actually went back to Melton and watched it in my, uh, one of my mates' house. And um, I was just talking to them, so I wasn't really watching the game. But, um, yeah, I just didn't want to hang around. I think yeah. Yeah, you, you get pretty jealous and envious of the other teams. And, um, yeah, after wanting to be there for so long, it, it gets to be hard to watch. So, um, yeah, just tried to get with a few mates and um, sort of have a chill day. Now, I've been having a look at the Instagram fat yes. of the uh, big stars of the AFL, yeah. and Zach is, of course, one of those. He is. And they're sending photos from Rome, from Madrid, from Munich, Vienna. from London, Vienna, and Zach comes to Milton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's Zach. That's what, are, our what are we dealing with? Oh, no, nothing beats home for me. Um, yeah, I think I was saying off air before that I'm not much of a... A Europe guy. I'm getting away soon, though, in a few weeks. Going to go to Bali um, with a few local oh, nice. mates. Um, and good. then do the co-trail as well, so that should be a bit of a challenge. And then um, I think by the time that rolls around, I'll probably be back in the train in Adelaide. Kokoda. It's tough. I nearly... You, you found that, did you, when you went? <laughs> well, I nearly did it. <laughs> I was going to do it, and they said, no, you won't make it fat. No, you will not make it. <laughs> well, that's pretty harsh. Yeah, I'm just hoping to come back in one piece, so it should be a bit of a challenge, a bit of fun. Um, they haven't done too much hiking, so it could be a bit of a well, wake-up call. We, of course, uh, were on the footy show with Gary and Sam when they did it. Yeah. And you've never heard more whinging. Oh. The hardest yeah. thing, if you couldn't <laughs> believe how hard it is, the, it's the worst conditions, the hardest thing. 
And then Luke Hodge went. Yeah. And we said, how'd you go with it? He goes, no, mate, it's no problem at all. <laughs> no, what those two old bastards were on. Well, what were they eating? Those beans or whatever? Yeah, they were. Maybe their diet wasn't quite right. I know, no, exactly. Hey, tell us about Dali. They won the uh, big grand final this year, defeated um, North Ballarat. By a point. Ooh. Yeah. North Ballarat, they don't like North Ballarat. No, no, one to, no. But tell us about the game. Must have been a, a close one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You're on fire here, Bill. Um, yeah, it was pretty close. Um, we actually didn't lead all, all day. Um, yeah, it was, it was a pretty bit of, bit of an ugly game. It um, wasn't great spectacle viewing, but um, yeah, by the end of it, um, yeah, it was, it was good for Dali, good for our town. And yeah, I had probably five or six of my best mates that I played junior footy with playing out there. and my childhood next door neighbour. Um, we was lucky enough to hit the winning goal with 30 seconds left, and I think we only led for 30 seconds. So, um, yeah, the celebrations back at the club room were good that night. So I enjoyed that. And the uh, female senior team won too. So look out! Yeah, Dali on fire. I think a few of our netball teams won as well. So the club's in a really good position, and um, yeah, it's, it's good to see them successful and um, all my mates enjoying their footy. Now, Zach, we can't get you on without revisiting one of Triple M Footy's modern most magnificent moments. We were at the Adelaide Oval. <laughs> You're running forward into the <laughs> forward pocket at the magnificent Morton Bay Fig end. And you lost. <laughs> you were running too up too fast, actually. And you actually knew, we knew you were going to end up hitting the deck. But it took about 20 paces more than we thought. And the great BT was at the Elm Avalusen. Westcock to Butters to the advantage. Beautiful handball. Oh. Takes a bounce. 50, oh. 40, 30. Oh. 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 Himself. He tripped over himself. Oh, no. It was like a big bundy in front of him. Oh, he went, oh no, it's like coming down bloody Mount Everest. He fell over his own feet. It was like you'd walked out of here when you'd had 20 pots. You had the staggers and everything. Yeah, you're probably right. If I say a few more hours of you, it's probably how to walk out. So. Um, yeah, mate, I, I copped a fair bit of stick at the footy club after oh. that. I think it was replayed in the team meeting, just on replay for a bit. And, um, a few of the boys occasionally sent it to me just to give me a bit of a wake-up call every now and then, so it always gives me a good laugh. But, it blew yeah. us away because you never lose your feet. No. <laughs> so to watch you gradually just fall forward, <laughs> it was so funny. Oh. Yeah, I think, I think it just shows that anything can happen to anyone. And I, <laughs> mate, the world got the better of me that day. How's Kenny? How's Kenny, my yes. mate Hinkley? He's, oh, he's losing a bit of hair. He's oh. getting, mate, he's forage. He's like a horse longmire now. Yeah, he is ageing on the outside, but, um, yeah, he, he's still pretty immature and funny on the inside. He's still got great passion for the game. Yeah. And, um, he's got a good character, and I'm, I'm sure you have a good relationship with him. You probably know what he's like. He's pretty oh, cheeky. He is, actually. Very good, very good player. He is a good player. Does yeah, he tell you that or oh, not? Do, yeah, does he tell us, yeah. <laughs> I reckon probably every second week at training, he lets me know I finished third in the Brownlow and yeah. fuel all shine, so... Yeah, he's put the pressure on me and Rose over the years. So. Well, and speaking of Connor Rosie, you had an extraordinary season, but so did he. And the two of you have got great synergy. Yeah, I think we've we've been working together for four or five years now, and we're probably just as good off mates off field as we are on field. And yeah, it's pretty easy when you play with blokes like that. He does a lot of the work, and um, yeah, he's, he's exciting to play. And yeah, his last two years have been exceptional. I don't know whether we've had this discussion before, but we had uh, young Jack Silvani on it a while ago this year. Good looking man. A very good looking man. <laughs> Just after they had played you, and he said, Connor Rosie moves around a footy field like a speed skater at the Winter Olympics. Yeah, he generally does. I don't know. Yeah, mate. All us boys hate playing with him in pre-season. You generally can't tackle him. He, he sort of dances around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mate, I hate it. Um, <laughs> I normally get him once a year at pre-season, and G, I'll let him know about it. So, <laughs> yeah. so uh, you and Connor and then Horn Francis, is he trying to get in there too? Or? No. Yeah, he, he, mate, he's already in there. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah mate, he's going to be a superstar of the competition, I think. Yeah, he probably plays like Dangerfield down Geelong. Yeah, um, yeah. Just explosive, powerful, and he's probably got the skills as well. So I think, um, yeah, I think everyone sort of forgets he's, he's a fair bit younger than me and Connor. He's only yep. 20, and I think he's going to be a superstar. So what about when we finish? What other things, uh, what other passions does Zach Butters have? Yes. Are you a golfer? Do you watch American football? Do you, what do you do this time of year? Publican. <laughs> um, I play a fair bit of golf. Um, my handicap's 15, so I'm not great, but Where I'm, at? I'm okay. Uh, my, my course in Adelaide's Glenelg Golf Club. Oh, yeah. Very um, nice. Back here, I just play at Back, Back Smash Golf Club in Darling. Have hit with a few mates and whatnot. Um, outside of that, I've been fishing a fair bit lately. I uh, haven't been catching too much, but I've been trying and putting in the hours. <laughs> yeah, Who's cool. the best golfer at Port Adelaide? Gee, there'll probably be a few boys text me after this, but um, Ryan Burton's off one or two. I think Mitch Georgiatis is off three or four, but 
in saying that, they live together and they probably the driving range every night. And, yeah, right. Um, yeah, I've, we've been telling them to put a bit more time in the footy and less golf. So. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly uh, You're a star, be. mate. Thanks for coming. What on. a magnificent exactly. season he had. Zach Butters, everybody. Yeah. One of the best players in the AFL, one of the best blokes in the yeah. AFL. Zach Butters no on Triple M's Rush Hour. We are live from the Melton Entertainment Park. Not far away from being joined by the voice of Harness Racing, Dan Malecki. But right now, it's always oh, precarious. No. Well, but they've get started to get their eye in down here. <laughs> uh, just some calls from the back of the room. Bill, <laughs> yeah. this is the worst beeping quiz I've ever heard. <laughs> Your quiz is shit. No, Jim. That's what I'm hearing <laughs> from the back. That's the feedback you're getting. <laughs> I know. Feedback is a gift, Fat. I know, it is. And they're still here. They've been here since... Uh, 10 a.m. Uh, they're over there. They're good boys. But let's go with a quiz. This is a local quiz, a local Melton quiz. Come on, Johnny. Oh, have a look at Johnny. Oh, I got a bit of sizzle. He's got the uh, Nikes on, the cut jeans, a nice pink top. Where'd you pinch them from? No, no. Where are you from, Johnny? Rock Bank. Rock Bank. Beautiful spot, Rock Bank. Yep. <laughs> what do you do, Johnny? Truck driver. Truck driver. Here we go, mate. Do you know what the name of the local paper here in Melton is? Oh, Johnny. He's not a local. Johnny. No, he's from Rockbank. Out, get out, you're gone. Oh, come on, Jace. Oh, here's Jace. What's the name of the local? What do you do, Jace? I'm a truck driver. That's two truck drivers with us. That's her. it. Uh, and Nicole, truck driver? No, oh, chef, right up. Uh, what's the name of the local paper? Uh, the Star. Is it? Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll go with that. Uh, fat. Oh, yeah. What's what the a... prize, by the way? Oh, we'll give you something. What about when the previous <laughs> uh, contestant got it wrong? First thing I heard from the back of the room. See ya. Yes. <laughs> well, he's not local, Jimmy. I know. The side, the uh, Melton Murable Star Weekly, but we'll go with the star. Uh, what is this room called in here? Gamma light room. Well done. <laughs> if I went next door to the bistro, what would that be called? Don't know. Don't know. Oh, see see ya. Ya. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nicole. She's a chef. Call me daddy. Hmm. Hello, Nicole. Oh, that's, that's on the top. That's on your top. Call me daddy was written on her daddy. top. Yes, yes, written on the top. Hello, Nicole. What do you do, Nicole? I'm a chef. You're a chef. Right. Whereabouts? Um, at a local nursing home. Oh, good on you, Nicole. What is this room in here called? This, uh, sorry, the bistro in there. When you go through those doors, see the sign there? Yeah, popular arm. Um, popular arm. Um. That'll do. Well done. Yes. Very good prizes here. Hang on. What uh, are they? What are they, Bill? Uh, $250 to the... Yeah, it's in Melton Entertainment <laughs> Park Hotel. Stay voted at $230. And a Christmas Day lunch voted at $150. And some vouchers we've got to give yes. away. So what is Cobble Dick? <laughs> What is Cobble Dick's Ford? I have no idea. It, no, well, does anyone know what that is? No, no, don't say oh, it. Don't see. say it. Hang on, we'll come and see Dee. Dee, can you give Nicole something, please? Because I like a top. Well done, Nicole. <laughs> come on, Pete. Here's Peter. Oh, look at Pete. Oh, oh, look at Pete. Oh, what do you do, Pete? I'm retired. Yeah? What did you used to do, Pete? I used to work for Safeway. Safeway. Yeah. Stacking shelves? Stacking shelves and managing. Well done. All right, do you know what... Um, Cobble Dick's Ford is? Didn't have a clue. Is there something in Melton called Cobble Dick's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, see you, Pete. <laughs> Come on, Trev. Righto, Trev, where, what do you do? I'm a spray painter. How you going, Fat? Yeah, Fat's, fat's well, thank you, Trev. <laughs> what is Cobble Dick's Ford? Oh, it's a streamside reserve, for sure. <laughs> no, I have a listen to it. <laughs> Mate, they've got cobbles there, Jim. Yeah, I heard that. I've never come this way before. No, haven't you? No, no. <laughs> Must be the cobbles. <laughs> it's a large reserve. <laughs> uh, what night is steak night here at the Melton Entertainment Park Complex? Steak night. Thursday. No, wrong, see ya. <laughs> oh, he's not happy. He's filthy up. Come on, Jerome. Oh, look at Jerome. We like Jerome. Hey? Jerome. What Jerem. kind of name's Jerem? It's made up. It is made up. <laughs> J-E-R-O-M. Yep, my old man made it up when, he was, when I was born. Who do you barrack for, Jerem? Come on, mate. It's on the top. Who's your favourite? Pass player. Number 16. Good old Billy Bell. Yes, Jerome. <laughs> Gavin Nixel. It's not Jerome. I was there when you got 60 metre kick in the, in the prelim final. Footscray. 
75 it was, Jerome. Or Jerome, or whatever you bloody know. What night is steak night here? Good old Tuesday. Yes! Right, oh, no, we're still going. Spell Zach Butters. Z A Z. No! No! Z A Z. Out! Out! Give him something, D. Right, oh, who we got here? Spencey! Spencey! Spencey, what do you do, Spencey? Man, I'm a carpenter. Yeah, he's a carpenter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you. Had a couple of froffies, have you? Oh, I've had a few, mate. Oh, okay, that, that. <laughs> Just get that button ready. Uh, <laughs> Spe- <laughs> spell Zach Butters. Z A C. No! Out! No! Out, Spencey, go and lay some more carpet. <laughs> Here's Freshy. Come on, Freshy. Yeah, look at look Freshy. Freshy. Oh, he's got the sun. He's on. Hello, Freshy. Oh, uh, because of the reflection, Bill, I got the sun. Oh, it's coming off the forehead. That's it. Oh, I like it. I like it. You've had a couple of refreshments? Only a couple. Oh, no. What do you do, Freshy? I'm retired, Bill. Oh, you're good on you. Right. Do you know how to spell Zach Butters? Z-A-K? Yes. B-U-T. T-E-R-S. Yes! Righto. A couple of uh, former Melton Bloods players, right? Danny Del Rey was one. Who did he play football for? Melton. Yeah, after Melton. (laughs) Oh, Footscray. Footscray, yes. Tyson Lane. Tyson Lane. Oh, back lane. Where did Tyson... I would say the doggies. Yes. yes, well done, yeah. and Collingwood. Yeah. And Adam Kennedy. GWS. Well done, Freshy. Oh, Freshy. Go on, beautiful. Uh, in 19, this is true, Freshy, right? In 1977, Big M hit the fridges. Remember the Big M's? Well, they're still around, actually, Freshy. But <laughs> the M apparently stands for Melton. Yep. This is true, isn't it? Yes. 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 See, oh, no. see, Hayes, I told you it was true. <laughs> Shut up. It's not true. Name the four original flavours of Big M. Chocolate, strawberry, vanilla. Yes. And... Too long. Oh, too long, Fresh. Come on, Fresh. You weren't fresh enough. (laughs) Back to the frothies. Here's Marie. Hello, Marie. How are you? Very well. Welcome you. to Melton. Are you from Melton? I am. All oh, right. Good. Who do you barrack for? The pies. Oh, the pies. Yes. Give me a look at those teeth. Oh, yeah, no, you barrack for Collingwood. Yep. The Big M, Dale, the four original flavours. Banana? Is one. Yeah. Vanilla? No. Oh, no. Sorry. Kip, can you give Marie? What's her name? Marie, that's it. Yep. Is <laughs> <laughs> that Rachel? <laughs> Rachel, hello, Rachel, how are you? How are you, doll? Who do you back for? Bulldogs. Bulldogs. You got a boyfriend? Dougie. Dougie. Dancing. Oh, you would have kissed him behind the shelter sheds one day. Now, name the four Big M original flavours. I'll go banana. Yes, one. Chocolate. Yes. Strawberry. Yes, and one more. Ice yes! Hey! How long we got? Well, we've been going for nine minutes. Hang on. I've got one more question. If you can answer this, name the three senior Melton football club teams. Bloods. Bloods are one. South. South is the other. Central. 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 There's our winner. Well done, Rachel. Rachel, whatever it is. Rachel. Rachel. D, come over here and present her with awards and bring... Bring something else. Sorry, boys. You, we're just too. Sorry, Harry and Steve and Shane. I don't think Rachel's Ash. a hard name. No, it's Rachel. Rachel. It's, it's called Rachel. It's Rachel. Oh, Another Rachel popular quiz. Wins a Melton <laughs> Entertainment <laughs> Park Hotel Stay. Paid at two hundred and thirty bucks. How good? And a Christmas Day lunch, one hundred and fifty bucks. How good was the quiz? <laughs> Sucked in. <laughs> Sucked in. He won't get out of here alive. <laughs> Here's a live a, audience. What do you call a sad cup of coffee? What? A depresso. Oh! Yeah. Where'd you get that from? From Darcy. Oh, uh, little Darcy. Darcy.
Darcy. He's nice, four. Darcy. He come up and he goes, hey, fat, I've got a joke for you. He's four. <laughs> well done, Darcy. And, and we got it. It wasn't terrible. It's Darcy's joke. Um, now, it's all about Melton. It's a terrible joke. They've all heard it, but I'll just... Uh, all right, go on, then. Do you know, Jim, that Bacchus Marsh is the hottest place on earth? No. <laughs> you know why? Why? Because it's near Melton. Oh, oh my God. Look at it. Boo. Boo. Oh, you can get stuffed. Well, you got time for one more, Hugh. You got, a, you got time for something decent? Oh, you told me to be quick. <laughs> Uh, hang on. Oh, he's getting heckled. <laughs> oh, no, get heckled. <laughs> hang on. Jim, talk to Come him. On. Hey, now, th thanks hey, for having thank, us, thank by everyone. the way. We've yeah. had an absolute ball. It's been a, a wonderful oh, afternoon. All right, Fat. Um, balloon head. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Bro. Oh, no. I went and bought some deodorant, Jim. Did you? <laughs> and the lady behind the jump said, Do you want ball or ass uh, aerosol? Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> no. And, and I said, no, just under me up. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs>